Uh, hi guys, I'm here with uh, Hot Shot Proton designer Mr. Aslan Osman himself and uh, we're gonna ask him a few questions. The facelifted Proton Iris and Persona, they've received a fair bit of uh, mixed response from the public. Uh, some say it really looks good and some for the worse, but also there's a fraction of them who say that it doesn't particularly address the original issues that the cars have. Uh, how do you react to these comments? Well, uh, I would like to start by saying that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So comments will always uh, come from various angles, okay. yeah, positive, negative. On our own side, uh, we go back to the main reason of why we do things in Proton Design. Okay. We have to stay true to the one thing we call it our new design language, which we presented when we launched the X70 before. That becomes a guiding principle for everything. Yeah? So essentially what you're seeing is an adaptation of that design language into both cars. Yeah? They have been styled in such a way that uh, fits that, their particular demographic. Uh, I'm sure you, are, you understand that each car has a particular target market, right? Yeah. So it's been fitted to suit that. Okay. Okay. Uh, my follow-up question to that is that uh, I personally think that the facelift do it justice. I, I like the whole design approach. And as comprehensive as uh, the facelift go, um, some people, you know Malaysians, they like stuff like, they like bedazzling stuff like LED headlights, projector headlights and LED taillights. Uh, is there any reason for these to not have them? Okay, well, we had to go back to the drawing board. You know, a lot of people say we should fix the, the fundamental things first, right? From what we know and the reports and everything, the lights are not the main reason why or are the main issues of the car in the past. And they are the more fundamental issues. So we have to be practical. The cost of the car is also a much more important thing to consider. Yeah? So these were conscious decisions that we made to harmonize what we can and make some of the parts as different as we can. Yeah? So, uh, at the end of the day, it's about providing the best value to our customers. If you can't just give good looks, value is very important. Okay. Following question, also, there is a very distinct effort to differentiate the two models, the Iris and the Persona. So instead of making them share as many components as possible, you know, we see the same bumpers, the same lights, surely sharing or or rather the term commonalizing parts would be a bit more cost effective. What do you say to this? Yes, indeed, you're, you're very right. Uh, bill of materials cost, what we call as a bomb cost, is very important. Yeah? Uh, like I said just now, at the end of the day, it's about providing the best value to our customers. But at the same time, each character has to be distinct between the two cars. We have styled them in such a way that we want them to be different. So as much as you want to give the best value, or some people say the lowest price and everything, commonize everything, yeah. that will not fulfill the design intent of making sure that the cars look different enough to appeal to the customers that we want. So that was a conscious decision for you to distinguish the two. It's intentional. Exactly. Okay. From a design standpoint, the individual character of the car is more important than above all else for okay. everything else. Okay. Fair point, fair point. Now, the next one. Um, the Iris and the Persona facelift, they share a few design similarities with the X70. The grille, of course, is one of them. Um, but there is still a very stark difference between the X70 and the rest of the Proton range. Moving forward, which one will be the true Proton family look? Yeah, it's a very tricky question, that one. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's effect effectively, what we have having here is a situation whereby you have the Geely based products and you have the legacy Proton products, yeah? They're reaching a crossroads. The X70 is the first of the Geely based products, yeah? But we want to maintain a collaborative development with Geely. So there is no such thing as one following the other in that sense. Now Peter Horbury, the EVP of design, the Geely Global Design, he has said it many months ago that he wants Proton to retain its own unique identity and we're gonna stay true to that we're gonna make sure that happens so there's no one following the other rather than working in tandem to make sure there's no overlap in terms of design going forward okay I'll take that that's a good answer now on the X70 how extensive will the changes be done to the CKD model we know that it's coming sometime later this year but how extensive will the changes be and how much local input will there be you have to be careful with that one um, 
the X7 CKD uh, will pretty much retain a lot of what you see today. Okay. There will be some surprises. Right. I'm not at liberty to explain it at the moment, okay. but there will be some uniqueness to the CKD version. So in developing the CKD version, the vast majority of it is actually done here in Malaysia. Because we have already worked uh, long and hard on the CBU version, mm -hmm. with the knowledge that we have and the connections that we have with the team over in Shanghai already in place. Okay. It's very easy for us to move on the CKD version uh, local here in Malaysia. So we're taking the lead. I see, okay. And uh, moving forward, are there any restrictions put on redesigning Proton cars? Uh, for example, we know last time when you did the uh, new Perdana as well as the Proton Ertiga, there were design limitations that was strictly imposed. Uh, you can't do much, whereas uh, the X17, how, how's the situation like? Do you have more say in things, especially in the design standpoint? Well, I'm happy to say that Geely has been a very, very good partner. Okay. Yeah, I'm using the word partner. Okay. They have taken us into the family and being much, much more open uh, compared to our past experiences. We've been accepted into the, the family, hence uh, communication, communication is much easier okay. from, a, from a design standpoint for us to develop things together. Yeah? So we have been even invited to design their product. I see. Yeah, so I think that, that shows you uh, the acceptance and the openness of the GD group. Would you be able to reveal what the products are? Or is it still PNC? <laughs> <laughs> Everything in my industry is PNC. But um, obviously it's a future product. Okay. Uh, made for the Malaysian market or global product? Or both? We, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Uh, but uh, it is a future product uh, that could be used by both families, both brands. And the competition is actually not just between Shanghai and Shalam, but actually all the other global studios. Yeah, they have a total of five design studios globally. That's good to know. Okay, uh, on that front, we want to talk a little bit about future products. Will the upcoming Geely based models, uh, for example, the SX11 and the VF11, follow the same introduction strategy as the X70? You know, CBU rebadge first and then uh, CKD with more local input in the future? It's still early days. Now, um, the cars are still being co developed together okay. and being localized. So I think the strategy uh, is probably too early for us to explain at the moment. Yeah. Um, I think you just have to wait and see. Okay. You know, one thing for sure, the spirit of collaboration uh, is paramount and we've kept that going uh, between the two brands or between all the brands together. Yeah. So, and and they're, they're, they're going to be exciting, really super products. Yeah. Amazing, amazing products. Yeah. B segment SUV? <laughs> you never know. Never know. <laughs> never say never. Yeah. My last question. You've mentioned that Proton Design is involved in Gili's project uh, earlier. Can you elaborate on this? Or as we say, we've been through this, it's a little bit PNC, but uh, what can you tell us or what can you tell our audience? Uh, it is an exciting time to be right here where we are, to be on this international stage and, and being able to work with the other studios. Now, we have communicated with uh, China and Peter over in uh, Sweden as well, uh, and also our friends in Barcelona, and looking at more ways to collaborate. So it's not just about doing production cars. It's about doing what I call a skunk works. The skunk works are like future work that doesn't really relate to anything that we're going to produce. But it's a way for design to thrive, right? to make sure we attain a maximum of, amount of international uh, exposure, sharing and capabilities. So this collaboration Yes, we've, we've started doing some live projects on live cars, but more importantly, we're talking about the future. And uh, there are many things that we're, we're going to bring out in the future. They must have kept you busy. Extremely. Best, best time. Best time to be at Proton. Uh, you've heard it from himself, uh, Mr. Aslan Othman, big boss at uh, Proton Design Studio. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you and talking to you again in the future. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. See you in the next one.